everyone. Today our topic is Fluid Dynamics Fluid dynamics is the study of fluids when they are in motion. It is the branch of fluid mechanics. It has several subdisciplines. Aerodynamics The study of air and other gases when they are in motion. Hydrodynamics The study of liquid in motion. Viscous drag in Stokes law an object moving through a fluid experience a retarding force called drag force. The drag force increases as the speed of object increases. The drag force F on a sphere of radius R moving with velocity V. Through a fluid of viscosity is given by Stokes' law. F is equal to 6 pi E E T A R V. Where? Eta is the coefficient of viscosity of fluid. Viscosity can be defined as the frictional force between different layers of fluid. At high speed the force is no more proportional to speed. The maximum and constant velocity of an object falling vertically downward is called terminal velocity. Consider a water droplet such as fog. Move downward direction due to its weight. The upward drag force acting on droplet. Which increases with velocity. The net force acting on droplet is given by. Net force is equal to weight minus drag force. After some time the drag force become equal to its weight and the drop move with constant velocity called terminal velocity. To find the terminal velocity, when weight become equal to drag force, mg is equal to 6 pi e e t a r v, and terminal velocity vt is equal to mg by 6 pi e e t a r. The mass of droplet is rho v where V be volume of droplet. V is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. Substituting this value in above equation we get Vt is equal to 2 grams r square rho by 9 eeta. Types of fluid flow. Fluid flow are of two types. Laminar flow. Turbulent flow. Laminar flow. The fluid is said to be streamline or laminar. If every particle of liquid moves along exactly same path, the streamlines cannot cross each other. Laminar flow is said to be ideal fluid. Turbulent flow. The irregular or unsteady flow is called turbulent flow. The streamlines cross each other. A regular flow of fluid is called turbulent flow. Characteristics of ideal fluid The fluid is non-viscous. There is no internal frictional force between adjacent layers of fluid. The fluid is incompressible. Its density is constant. The fluid motion is steady. Equation of Continuity Consider a fluid flowing through a pipe of non-uniform size. The particles in the fluid moves along the streamlines in a steady state flow. In a small time delta t the fluid at the lower end of tube moves a distance of delta x1 with the velocity v1. If a1 is the area of cross-section of this end then mass of fluid contained a shaded region is delta m1 is equal to rho 1 a1 delta x1 where velocity is equal to delta x1 by delta t so above equation becomes 
delta m1 is equal to rho 101 v1 delta t. Similarly fluid moves through the upper end of pipe with velocity v2 is delta m2 is equal to rho 2 a2 v2 delta t. If the fluid is incompressible, delta m1 is equal to delta m2. Rho 1 a1 v1 equal to rho 2 a2 v2. Since density is constant for incompressible fluid, a1 v1 equal to a2 v2. This equation is called equation of continuity. The product of cross-sectional area of the pipe and fluid speed at any point along the pipe is constant. This constant equals the volume flow per second of the fluid. Or simply flow rate. Thanks for watching.